We begin tonight with a local 4 News investigation. We focus on a local animal shelter that came under scrutiny after two puppies adopted from that facility got sick and died. The place is King's Harvest Pet Rescue. Some people say it's happened there several times before. A mother and daughter recently adopted one of those sick dogs, and they want answers tonight. That's after they wound up with several thousand dollars worth of medical and adoption bills, along with a lot of heartache after their dog, Charlie, died 10 days after taking him home. A warning, you might find some of the details in this story difficult to hear. Roger Terry investigates in this Local 4 News I-Team special report. It's one of the first great joys of life, a child getting their first dog. He was licking the hands. <laughs> For Tracy Harper and her 12-year-old daughter Grace, that joy became a reality on November 27, 2020, the day they brought home Charlie. He was really cute. I don't know, there was just something about him that was really sweet. After just a few days, the Harpers noticed Charlie starting to change. He started to act really... He was lethargic where he would like really love treats and like he wasn't taking them and we knew I pretty much knew something was up when he wasn't taking the treats. Time that the Harpers hoped would be spent taking walks and playing with their brand new puppy turned into daily trips to the animal hospital. Charlie was diagnosed with parvovirus, a very contagious sickness that Dr. Scott Sandeman at Glen Rhodes Vet Clinic in Bettendorf says can be fatal. The doctor says symptoms could take three to seven days to show up and vaccines have slowed its impact but for Charlie, everything we paid to save him didn't work to save him. So after just 10 days and almost $4,500 in medical bills, the Harpers had to make the decision to end Charlie's pain by ending his life. We won't ever forget that, like ever, because it was bad. Sorry, I don't want to cry. It was bad. It's okay. I just, and then even that when we were in there putting him to sleep, he had like blood dripping out of his nose when he was laying on the bed. And I was taking a tissue and I was wiping his nose off. Like, we're never going to get over this. A great deal of personal pain, something shared by Rochelle Dougal, a former assistant director at King's Harvest Pet Rescue in Davenport. That is where the Harpers adopted Charlie. It was heartbreaking. I also felt a lot of shame for participating in it and more importantly, not um, maybe helplessness because I didn't feel like there was anything that I could do. Dougal was let go by the shelter before this specific case, but according to her, this isn't the first time she's seen this happen. I did notice that a lot of the animals that were being adopted out um, came down with various illnesses, kennel cough, ringworm, upper respiratory infections, heartworms, um, and even fatalities. Local 4 News decided to investigate. We found out Charlie came up to King's Harvest via transport van from Texas. We also checked animal welfare inspection records from the Iowa Department of Ag and Land Stewardship. We found in December of 2020, a complaint about sick animals led to another inspection outside of the routine one that's done every year. The report lists several code violations, including failure to maintain adequate records, failure to maintain programs of disease control and prevention, and failure to place animals infected with contagious diseases into isolation facilities. A reinspection was scheduled for early January. Those findings are not available yet. We reached out to King's Harvest Pet Rescue. They did not want to go on camera, but did send a written response. It says in part, the litter of dogs were vet checked on November 23rd and were up to date on age appropriate vaccines. They say the dogs were in a foster home in Texas for three weeks, which they felt was a long enough quarantine. The shelter director's statement continues, saying no one wants to euthanize these great pups, so we were just trying to help as many as we could, which meant we tried to adopt them out as quickly as possible to prevent others from dying. Since our investigation, King's Harvest has changed its policy on holding animals, saying they will now hold them for a minimum of three days before adopting them out. They have, they are saddened by what happened, but still want to encourage people to adopt, not shop. They say rescue dogs are less expensive and do come fully vetted. With the Local 4 I team, Redrick Terry, Local 4 News. The shelter director wanted to clarify her position. Her statement spoke about the pets in general, and not about the specific case. She says the reinspection from the Iowa Department of Agriculture found the shelter is complying with regulations, and the dogs in question were fully vetted before getting to the shelter. 
The shelter did raise and hand out around $6,500 to the families of the dogs that died. We provided a full response from Kings Harvest online at ourquadcities.com.